A local cyclist who lost his leg in a pretty gruesome crash is adjusting to his new normal with the help of some family and friends. He's 23-year-old Alastair Corkett. He's now home from the hospital and a home he's navigating for the first time with a wheelchair and a walker. Amy Frazier, he met with uh, you met with him today in this coin follow-up and his strength is just inspiring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it absolutely is. Alistair tells me he is grateful to family and friends who have put their own lives on hold to help him with this new chapter in his life. Cycling has been a huge part of his life, and I found out he intends to keep it that way, hoping even to inspire other amputees. For 23-year-old Alistair Corkett, yeah. <laughs> it's so good to be home after about a week in the hospital. Being out and here and seeing Timber, my dog, and everything, it's, it's really been good, so I feel, I feel great. He says loyal family and friends are helping to keep his spirits up. So we were definitely the busiest room in the hospital. <laughs> um, told, told that many times by the nurses. The same people at his side here at home. He's surpassed all my expectations every day. As he navigates the new normal, using a wheelchair, a walker, or crutches. God, stairs. <laughs> stairs are challenging. To get around on one leg. Inside, we have really narrow stairs. So I kind of have to do this embarrassing thing where I kind of sit down on a step and like raise myself up one by one. <laughs> Alistair's life was forever changed on May 10th. He was cycling to work when he and a turning truck collided at Southeast 26th and Powell, something he remembers vividly. My leg on the sidewalk and at that point I kind of just laid back and let people do their thing. And his leg is gone, but his passion for cycling is as strong as ever. In fact, the company that sponsors his cycling team just sent him this new frame. Since mine was completely destroyed in the crash, so this is it. Yeah, I'm, I'm incredibly excited about it, definitely. So That's it's, a little motivation. It's a little huh? motivation, yeah. <laughs> the depressing part is that it's going to be built up and ready to ride long before I am. So. <laughs> He's determined to be back on a bike by August. I thought of that first ride really <laughs> helps out quite a bit. First, though, he needs to heal from surgery. Apparently cyclists heal faster is the word on the street. So, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Then he'll get fitted for a prosthetic leg and eventually one built for cycling. Just another piece of gear, yeah. And that's kind of the mindset I'm trying to, to keep about it. And he's hoping it might inspire other amputees to try cycling as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing what it will be like to get back out there and see how I might be able to help change people's lives. And so that's, that's doing a lot to help keep me motivated. He also tells me he's grateful from all the support out there from the community. This Sunday, there's a bike swap plan to help out with his ongoing expenses. We posted all the details for you at coin.com. Reporting live in the newsroom, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News. Well, it's got to be so important to him and powerful that is all these people surrounding him. He's part of a community. I've done stories on people that have been through something tragic. Then when all the TV cameras go away and all the friends and family go away, suddenly you're left with your reality. It can be tough, but I think he's got all these people around him that will continue to be around him. Yeah, he says he has the most amazing friends and he's determined, really, he's really determined to turn this into something positive. So he says that's something he thinks a lot about right now. Oh, that's really great to hear. Amy, thanks for the update.